for pie land we know you are probably heading to work right now on your way in your car both hands on the wheel eyes open as always nothing changes here uh this is your you know most lovable host excuse me oh i don't, think, that they, I don't think they'd say that they, yeah they would <laughs> Maybe they would um, say the most lovable, maybe to prostitutes, capable, <laughs> <laughs> lovable, lovable by all prostitutes, lovable by prostitutes. <laughs> Are all you making love. fun of me? You're making fun of my Amsterdam trip because they won't stop texting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're in love, you, dude. Why do they like you so much? You a good tipper? Yeah, what did you do? No, I just I played piano. You're a good tipper, huh? No, no, I was playing piano. Okay. We we went to bars, got drinks. Oh, so it was like dinners. a night off for them. They didn't have yeah. to do prostitute right. things. They yeah. just got to hang out for money. Yeah, I just yeah, I just paid them to be my friend. Took them on a date. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's what yeah. you're supposed to do. Are you sure? Is that not how you do this? I've never done it before. I wouldn't know. Prostitutes, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, uh, most lovable host yeah. is definitely. I would say our audience. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, yeah, we, right. I, mean, I see can... some guys in there that are like, oh, he sucks. <laughs> Like, I'm like, it's our show. Yeah. <laughs> you watched our whole show just to say, he sucks. I hate him. Who is this I guy? finished this whole thing and it sucked. <laughs> like, this whole, I finished this whole thing with Gary and he, yeah. they, they, they both suck. Yeah, I mean, to uh, be honest, that I was asleep on that episode. Yeah, so yeah you were. I saw. I uh, just didn't want it. Gary was too hyper. Yeah. He I, just I like, I gotta do shut it. down. Yeah. I'm like, I just, just, Gary. I need a nap. Take over. Take the show, please. Take <laughs> yeah. the show. You just gotta sleep on your He your was desk. the only one, like, kind of participating yeah. that day. Oh, he was so mad, too. He was like, Dave doesn't even want me here. He's like, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on a podcast. <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with you guys? That's pretty funny. It's, sorry, Gary. You just make me tired. Sorry, dude. You just, you take up, all, you suck all the energy out. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. And he's out in Vegas. Everybody. He's in Vegas right now with CJ. So I saw him bonging a beer. They're here soon, ain't they? Oh, yeah, they're, they're who's bonging here. the beer? Gary. Yeah, he broke Oh, he his broke it. Sobriety. Damn it. He broke the sobriety and bonged <laughs> the beer. <laughs> Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and then I got texts from about eight women. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but also they had to block Gary. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's supposed to be here in a week or so because he mentioned. Uh, yeah, they have tickets. I told him he can stay in my house. Yeah, yeah. Like, just because I. Are you I, not going to be here? No, or? I have to record a music video next oh, week. Oh, that's, that's cool. God, he's going to be on being a rock star again. Another music video. <laughs> yeah, hey, we got a new single out too that came out on Friday. <clears throat> the one with Matt. Yeah, is it doing pretty good? I I, I don't know yet. Oh, I guess okay. we'll. I, I'll I find mean, out. I, I would say, who knows? Because over the weekend, I haven't been able to make anything like big yet. For so it. like, okay. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Like yeah, get a good reel playing in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and Smart. sharing it and stuff like that. But Matt, you know, debut screaming. Like, yeah, screaming's hard. Yeah, that's fun. And he did a good job. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the song so came out great. Nick Scott, yeah. our producer, played a big role in this. I, I'm getting, my stomach is turning, Dave, just looking at what's on the screen right now. Because before we started the show here, yeah. we were all having I almost like a 20-minute conversation tangent just, just when we should have been recording. But we got off chills, on this dude. guy named Barfly. We, we yeah. were kind of talking shit. We, it's good that we didn't record it. Yeah, it's like not too much shit. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, if you guys have seen this dude, I think he's on TikTok as well. His name is Barfly. I thought, I thought seven? it said Barfly. Oh, quad seven. Yeah. All yeah, the sevens. Quad seven. Barfly quad seven. Uh, he is a trucker, I think. And he cooks things in his hotels and Wait, motels. bathroom chef yes, is what he calls bathroom himself. bathroom chef. That's the legit title. <laughs> he boils things in sinks <laughs> and bathtubs. We need to reach out to this guy. And get him to come cook for us. Yeah, he, he could do something in the recovery room. Let's just, let's, no, no, no. Let's just take him to like a public restroom. <laughs> <laughs> cook a meal for us. How, in a, in how, a state park bathroom? Yeah. How far do you think he'd get into cooking in a Bucky's before they're like, mm -mm. oh, they do oh, they'd find quick. it quickly. Yeah, yeah, they'd find him quickly. There's they, a lot of staff of Bucky's in there. Yeah, that's part of their whole thing. Yeah. Is 
clean bathroom. Oh, and, and no and, truckers. Unless he went yeah. into one of the stalls and locked it and stayed in yeah, there. Yeah, see, until that the would be a, there, there, there's some kind of detection. Yeah. For that, not only is he a trucker, they'd be like, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, oh yeah, they'd, <laughs> they'd know he was a trucker as soon as they walked in, they'd be on him. But yeah, dude, he boils meats in bathtubs for sometimes the whole night. I've seen a few episodes where he cooks in the back of the toilets. Go ahead and play the most recent one that we were all just oh, watching, God, and I'll play so by bad. play this for those of you in your car right now since you can't see it. So oh. he has what looks like, you know, a 25, 20 pound brisket. Oh, right? his feet. Yeah. Is that, is that a oh. brisket? <laughs> mm-hmm. he's, he's laying in the bathtub and he's carving the brisket and he's throwing the trimmings on his bare feet. Yeah. Oh, it's sous vide. That's now, smart, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's sous vide in it every Now time. he's filled the bathtub with water and put in a heating element yeah. uh, to sous vide. Sous vide. Yeah, yeah, to sous vide. Then he does a nice little front flip into his bed. Yeah, While now it's the morning over. after. Oh, he's now wrapped a shit. sock oh, around, fuck, around a box of macaroni. God. He's placing eggs in the bathtub, which is at 200 degrees, the water is. Uh, the macaroni is done. He's he's oh. dicing up uh, vegetables and putting them in the sink right now with the macaroni that he had just boiled. Pickles, onions, boiled eggs. Yeah, he just mu- oh, oh, mayonnaise man. hand. <laughs> he's using his hands to mix all of this. God. He's now diced the bris- brisket up and made a sandwich and is eating it in bed shirtless yeah. in the hotel. It's I mean, just a big... I wonder if the mm. hotels... Dude, you know they hate him. Everything's <laughs> everything's like, soaked in blood and meat <laughs> everywhere when they come in. There's multiple... Dude, sometimes he, he'll rip the sheet off the bed and strain meat with it, and it'll just be like a bloody, like, wet sheet in the shower when he leaves. What do you think... There's got to be some internal documents inside hotel chains. That are like, don't... Hit that them. are like passing this around yeah. saying, hey, what are we doing to mitigate, you know, this... The like, do you think guy. his his face is put up in a number of hotels? It like, has to be, Do dude. not let him stay here. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way, man. He does the worst shit. Like, it... Like oh, it, no. Go, dude, what's uh, that middle one with the sausage and the can of Cento? This is <laughs> oh, six oh, layer rotisserie. Grill. Oh, pool water. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's using the he pool. He is chlorinated pool water and just dumped the meat in it and he's boiling it. <laughs> this guy no, is going to have some serious internal organ problems. Like, Bro. What is he making here? What he is, just always uses his hands. Yeah, that's that's the funny thing too. Yeah. He uses his hands. He uses his feet. Uh, at least he's on a stove on this one. I mean, I still don't know. some pool water. I know. I don't know where this is going. Why did like, you do that? Uh, again, this account, by all means, you guys need to follow. What the hell it's bar, Barfly7777. Seven, 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 seven. <laughs> yeah, go look at it and let us know your favorite recipe. <laughs> yeah, just co- comment yeah. on them and say time for pie. So you, yeah. Give them some roo roos yeah. over there. Give them some let's, let's get them some roo roos. Oh, <laughs> Maybe you'll give us a shout out. Man, they make me so uncomfortable every time. Yeah, the, dude, he really found a niche. Yeah, I mean, did. I don't think it'll he, last. He figured something out, man. But like the. I don't know what he was making, but the one where he made cheese in one of his socks because he took it. He took the sock off his cheese foot. Cheese and socks. He took he took the sock off his foot, and he put like the or he he made the like the cheese right, and then he he scooped the ball up and then put it in his sock and then like strained it out. Like he's like he's making fresh mozzarella or something in his yeah, sock. Yeah, that sounds like mozzarella. Yeah, oh. it was. It was awful. And then he like used his sock to turn it into a ball and then just rolled it out of his sock and a nice mozzarella ball. Oh, Caleb. Yeah, it was really rough to watch. You're going to make sock cheese? I think he was making chicken parmesans that day. Oh, I, think I think that's what it was. And he made fresh Oh, mozzarella. no, no. He was making fresh mozzarella because he was making chicken parm, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jesus, like, come on, man. Dude, if we ever did get him out, though, like that would be. Let's make him use the grill and you're not allowed near no, the pool, dude. I don't want to do like, that. I want to make him. Let's take him to like a local restaurant. I seriously think we. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a bathroom at the skate park. Yeah, let's just get. Yeah, Somewhere and maybe even if we have to go at night and we'll set up like a candle lit dinner and you bring a date. We each oh, bring a date. You're gonna eat this? <laughs> yes, we're gonna eat it. We're gonna make our dates eat it too. We're gonna have a date <laughs> with Barfly. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's shit. challenge him to this. Yeah, like, no. hey dude, we wanna have a candlelit double date. Yeah. Like we'll set up the tables with 
tablecloth out of a bathroom. Peter in his in his uh, tuxedo. So like he'll be the waiter. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and he brings us the food. The bathroom and chef. Because we're not gonna see it being made no. until after. So, <laughs> so then we get to eat it and enjoy it and rate it. And see, see <laughs> you don't if think something. we're gonna throw up eating it? Like <laughs> just think? because you know we're gonna be so nervous. Yeah. Like it's gonna our- be toiletwater water <laughs> that's boiling it. <laughs> He's just gonna shove a bunch this of This is such a good idea, it's though. It's funny. Like, like us <laughs> at the set outside with a public restroom and beautiful tablecloth and like yeah. the wine. Like, we got wine, or maybe he has to make the wine. Oh. <laughs> hey, oh prison God. wine? Yeah, he can do prison wine on the back of the toilet. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I want this video of, us, be- of us going to the. The bathroom chef's restaurant <laughs> for a date. <laughs> he has his own restaurant and it's just four bathrooms. <laughs> like the kitchen is just four bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got underlings yeah. and they're all smaller truckers. <laughs> like his sous chefs are preparing things with their feet and their hands. Like, like where's the kitchen? It's just four it's, toilets. It's five midgets. Four <laughs> bad sinks, tubs everywhere. What is this? Like a hundred sous vide's going all the time. What are you making? Ugh. Oh God! I wish I, I wish we could get him on kitchen nightmares. <laughs> uh, Can you imagine? We just we have him with Gordon Ramsay, and he's making it. He's, like, he's making it for Gordon. What Ramsay. the fuck? <laughs> You're making Gordon cheese for Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Ramsay would explode, dude. He would just he die. Would explode. He would just die. <laughs> Blood would just come out. <laughs> he would just die. <laughs> like just his, look at his eyes. <laughs> his eyes start bleeding. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> oh God, dude! And Gordon, <laughs> Gordon <laughs> it just, <laughs> just explode everywhere. Guts. <laughs> well, you know, every kitchen nightmare starts with Gordon Ramsay trying the food. Yeah. Then he goes to the kitchen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the lobby of a fucking Best Western. Lo- oh, this fucking mac and cheese tastes, tastes like a sauce. <laughs> tastes, tastes like a sauce. a lot like a chuckle this- sauce. This tastes like a trucker rep- prepared it <laughs> in his sock. <laughs> and then he's like, Thank you, I'm chef. telling you right now, that is not prepared correctly. <laughs> that meat is too rare. It's not been seared. <laughs> like I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna look at this, this this guy's stove, and I'm telling you, it's not properly heated. Yeah. And then he realizes it's a bathtub in the back of a it's, toilet. It's 100 gallons in the bathtub. <laughs> Suvi water. What the fuck is this? Dude, there's there's some there's somewhere he'll empty out the trash cans in there and he'll boil shit in. <laughs> I saw him deep fry a chicken in one of the trash cans. He, he emptied it and filled it full of oil and had like an open oh flame go, or, or just like a, an eye going under this toilet. Hotels <laughs> have to, dude, they have to have, there's got to be a task force. That's dude, they hate looking him. For they want him dead, dude. They want him yeah. dead. <laughs> He's leaving whole salmons in the fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> the maid's going to the room. <laughs> Just boiling chili in the back of the toilet. <laughs> like a, a whole tub full of meat and cheese. Oh, God. My, I fucking hurt, dude. It's my like, body hurts. Just, I can't laugh anymore. Just six socks full of cheese. They're, they're wearing like, the maids. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're like already having a shitty day. They're like, oh, we got one room left. And they open the door. They're like, what the fuck happened in here? Like, <laughs> there's a bathtub. With 80 <laughs> gallons of, of meat juice. <laughs> it just stinks. That, it stains everything, <laughs> dude. You know, there's like a spaghetti ring around the whole tub. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> dude. Oh, what a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. 
You think that they like <laughs> they charge him like a shit? Dude, I mean, then imagine like the first maid going in and like looking at this bathroom because there's still like there's a macaroni salad in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like there's a chicken in still the boiling in, in the trash can, deep fried trash can. <laughs> and he always he, it's the trash can. It's got to be his trash, but it's always completely full because he'll dump all the trash out of it and then just pour a bunch of oil. <laughs> It's so bad. Oh my god! <sighs> I mean, imagine like the, the first maid that goes in, and then she's like, uh, I mean, uh, "Come I here, quit. Come, come here, and look at this." I, I quit. <laughs> like, <laughs> he made a whole bathtub full of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> he made his own ketchup. <laughs> the whole back of the toilet is ketchup. <laughs> They go to flush it and just catch up goo. Clogging everything, what dude. It's too thick. He made yeah. ketchup. Bastard <laughs> made ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Now you got a plumber there that's like, what the <laughs> fuck happened here? Well, They're like, <laughs> this guy's just money. ruining an entire town's <laughs> ecosystem at a time. Like, but honestly, like, I would pay money. Like, I would love to offer Gordon Ramsay's agent, like, just be like, hey, dude, like, for the sake of of everybody in the world wants to see this, take Please. him to this guy because <laughs> we just want to see his reaction. That would be it would like be some of the best shit. He would he would be screaming in that hotel room. He'd be, like, no, he'd be doing that thing where his brows really frowned, and he's like, "Oh, good God, he's just <laughs> good he's, God." Yeah, like he's like, just but then, like <laughs> but then the part like after he's done scolding him, now he's helping him in the bathroom. Like, <laughs> he teaches him how to. Yeah, like, 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 you know, <laughs> you're 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 flipping this too early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta add more heat. You, you need another use- heating rod in here. <laughs> like, <laughs> we show you. <laughs> Pulls the curtain rod off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he like, like builds something. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then the, the third floor just explodes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Two dead in a cooking show accident. What the fuck? What the hell? Dude. Yeah. Uh, it's r- just when you thought, like, you've seen everything on the internet somebody goes and comes along and pulls some shit like this yeah like have you seen that one guy that literally just puts a 360 camera in his mouth or he wears it walks around weird (laughs) yeah it's like like it's the scariest like he goes and like snatches a mcdonald's bag and starts running like and he and he talks like a caveman because he kind of looks like one because of the way the camera is yeah uh, God, what else was I about to say there? Like, I don't know where you go with that. Like, yeah, granted, like, some of those videos get insane. Like, like his account got big. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, um, what? Um, what do you do with it? Did you see that stuff? Well, I think there's still some people out there that just do it for funsies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just being weird. Like, he's just getting a kick out of it. Yeah. And if it dies one day, he's like, huh, all right, all cool. Right. Uh, did you see that Nick lost all that weight? The uh, Nick Avocado guy? He lost a bunch of weight? He pre-recorded like a year's worth of stuff like as Fat Nick and lost like all the weight. No, and I didn't he, see because I just... He's, I bone, he's like skinnier than he was when he started now. No shit. Yeah, it was like a surprise. So he like did this whole thing. Yeah, he's, he's apparently uh, filmed like a year's worth of videos. Oh secretly losing because, yeah. dude, he just like five days ago put out this like him... Like yelling at the camera, mm-hmm. like I hate my life, I hate this, blah 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 uh-huh. blah. It was like a trick, and then that must have been the uh-huh. the trick. Yeah. One of the sponsors for today's episode is Bubs Naturals. Bubs makes natural supplements, and my favorite is their collagen peptide. Collagen is key for joint health, muscle recovery, and gut health, and it's even great for your skin and nails. Bubs is the purest form of collagen and each serving contains 20 grams of actual collagen and seven essential amino acids. Bubs is a company created in tribute to Navy SEAL Glenn Doherty, and Bubs donates 10% of all profits to charity in Glenn's name. If you would like to try Bubs, go to their website and use the code TIMEFORPIE to get 20% off of your order, and you can even use it to combine in the subscription service. And as Bubs likes to say, die young as late as possible. He uh, apparently. Holy! Is there any new photos? I think he has a new video that came out like today or something of him eating noodles. 
But yeah, he Whoa. like yeah, yeah. Dude. He's like back to what he looked like. He before. looks like a real person yeah, now. Yeah. That's I hated that one, yeah. that other one. Oh yeah. It looked like, a, chi- it looked like a tiny Chinese baby. <laughs> When well, it's just chubby. his voice and everything, and him riding around on a motorized car yeah, and stuff. Yeah. No thanks. But uh, yeah, I watched an interesting one this morning because I realized I hadn't, uh, I hadn't been keeping up with my Sunny V two, which is all the the documentaries about all the oh, big YouTubers yeah. And, yeah. and shit like that. Oh. <clears throat> That sounds like you put steroids in fucking orange drink. Sunny V2? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we should try We should that. do that, I actually. mean, why aren't we doing that? Sunny D V2? Sunny V2D? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, but what I did stumble upon this morning, which I found interesting, because I was going through, I haven't seen his channel in like six months. So I was yeah. like, damn, I missed a lot of videos. Let's see what he's been yeah. chatting about. <clears throat> and one caught my eye, and that was... The backpack kid. Oh, the one that danced and then just vanished? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There's a whole... Oh, no. He attempted to, like, maintain this kid thing the backpack for... Kid. As, like, he... They essentially what... The yeah, no, he still does. The that, episode though. I was watching was about, like, is how... Is this, is this the one? Yeah, yeah. that's him. Discount like, Nick Carter? Yeah, yeah. and uh, how long he tried to, like ride off of so it was like the whole point of the doc the mini documentary <clears throat> was that like hey there are these viral things that go viral for like like hawk to a girl yeah perfect example they're giving her a podcast under under uh jake paul or something. <clears throat> jake paul's network yeah. the girl's like 21 22 years old who gives what a does shit? she have yeah to, to talk say? about yeah like like and you're talking about like she went viral for for making a drunk single comment about not sucking dick, creating yeah. something great, not making something, not making a, a great song or whatever. Like nothing was was created out of this. Yeah, and you're everybody is jumping on this like like, cause, cause like oh yeah she's everywhere she's got so, management and like I don't think everyone's jumping on yeah it, a lot of people are like why the fuck are you here yeah is the internet's like hey just put the fries in the bag like yeah. it, you're done yeah that's the that's, but, that's a comment right now yeah uh, she does have management she does have the podcast it's basically people that are older and have the money to give her these things mm-hmm. to give her a bigger platform jump the gun. And pretty much they're going to be the one holding the bag as far as like, oh, because yeah. oh, that's going to, there's no, we just gave her a million dollar podcast deal. Unless they no push the to. shit out of that always, like how would that continue? Unless she is by some grace, like so, so interesting and so fun to talk to and has all this fun shit to say. Everything I've ever seen her is she's just like a, a Basic, little girl. Yeah. She's like a little girl. Like she doesn't like back have much country, to talk about. Country, yeah. Like, yeah. I like horses. Yeah. She's I like getting horses advice and country from music. fucking unfunny people. Yeah. Like so. I've seen on, uh, <clears throat> that was it, X or Twitter that yeah. she's put out like meme of the day. And it's like, that's, that's not a meme. That's a poorly mm. photoshopped picture. Mm. So there's got to be someone above her yeah, and her she's management. Got a whole it's team, like, this yeah. is going to be great. I guarantee uh, somebody swooped in and they were just like, I'll milk this this cow yeah. <clears throat> until it's empty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, even then, like, like the, I, I saw the hat the other day. And it's yeah. like, who in their right mind is like, I want to wear a hat that says Hawk Tua? Yeah. You, you realize that's, you're talking about spit on a dick, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so brother, you're you're. So <clears throat> there's like all you, kinds of dudes in Tennessee that had stickers of it on their jeeps and shit. And I was just like, this is about sucking dick, man. Yeah, you get you, that you right. Put, you shouldn't put that on there, <laughs> hey man. I mean, yeah, have you seen the maybe video? a girl? If yeah, you're a girl, you got a jeep. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I hawk to it. Cool. Yeah, that sounds cool for you. Not a guy. That's that's what I saw. Yeah. I saw I saw a fat guy wearing a hawk to a <laughs> twenty four hat, and it's just like what. I just want to know. Yeah. What the fuck compelled you to be like, mm. I need to wear that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I want people I want to, to exchange s- American dollars for that. And then I want people to see me in it. Like, what? Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. It's not good stuff. But, any, yeah, this backpack kid, like, <clears throat> he tried to launch, like, a, a rap career, tried to... Tried to do uh, like DJing or making beats. Tried to be a producer, like, but then, but also like, 
like went around as the backpack kid. Like he was going in public dressed up with the backpack and like he would go to these hip hop concerts. Like, like there was a whole montage of him getting kicked off stages. <laughs> like, like, like he would go out like there was what it looked like. It, he was at a festival and like walks out center stage, like all the way out into the crowd, thousands of people and starts flossing. Uh, oh, he sued. He sued. Uh, Fortnite. Oh God! It looks like he's getting kicked out of the eight mile yeah. set. Yeah. See, he's like, they're like, what? What is he doing here? Get him out of here. Uh. Yeah. His mom had to come pick him up after that. Fortnite. Yeah. For taking that. For yeah. them using the dance. <clears throat> I think that that's such a stretch. Like you can't. You can can't, you? No, because that they. Can you a lot of people or, or a dance? No. A lot of people try to do that because they, <clears throat> they made so many emotes of, like, popular dances and a lot of people that, like, you know, their names have faded away or whatever. Or they had, like, a, a moment of fame tried to sue Fortnite for taking their dance. And you're like, you can't. Like, it's not it's a movement. Yeah, it's a body movement. Like, get over it. And, yeah, there was a lot of people that tried to do that. It's just like, it, uh, I don't think people understand, like, when, when we allow that... You make it impossible for anybody to make anything. Yeah. So if I make a movie and in my script it has you're teasing one of us by doing the floss, yeah. I gotta make sure I go and pay the fucking backpack. Kid yeah, yeah. Before so I don't get in a lawsuit after the movie comes out. Like this is this is absurd. Like this country has gotten way too loose on oh, the litigation yeah. shit. And like every asshole on the planet thinks that they need to get a cut. They're entitled of, to hey, something, yeah. And nine uh, times out of ten, there is no cut to give out, dude. We're making a cheap movie, which... <laughs> so, on the topic of suing for stupid shit, uh, have you ever heard about the Eleanor naming lawsuit? No. Uh, I forget if it was a person or a company, but basically, from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, that Mustang that was named Eleanor, yeah. somebody trademarked the name Eleanor to where if someone in their garage built... A Shelby, like that style of Mustang, and copied it, they would sue that individual. Like nobody could make anything could that resembled say that, that car. This say car was Eleanor. Is Eleanor, an Eleanor replica. Yeah, and That's then absurd. it looks like finally they lost that lawsuit, but it was a, a big thing for a while. See, that's like I I don't know why a judge doesn't immediately dismiss that upon the complaint filing by going, no, stop. You're just, you're just being problematic at this point and, like, you've contributed nothing to this whole... Because like, that's the thing. If anything, the writers of Gone in 60 Seconds that decided they would name a, a Shelby Cobra GT500 Eleanor are the ones that came up with that, not this dickhead that trademarked it. It was their IP inside the movie. But even then, it's it's a fucking name of a like you're not just a taking character. a girl's it's, name and saying, yeah. but 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 <clears throat> but it's also, dude that that is a very because it also is just in a movie. So how could you how could you rightfully win that by trying to say that anybody that's calling a GT five hundred Eleanor is not allowed to do that? Okay, so the person who is claiming it is uh, Denise. Whatever, widow of gone in sixty seconds filmmaker. Uh, so I guess that was her claim. It was like the, we did make this movie, or her the state that she yeah, represents. That's just did. a okay. So that yeah, at least it's not a random person off the street that trademarked it. I mean, yeah, like it's still an obvious money grab. Like I think the play yeah. was that they are going to sue, just so whoever well, they sue is like, oh my god, shut up! I'll give you on. money to go away. No, this is kind of different, though, now, if you think about it, because it says, she this is to Shelby. If Shelby, as the company, releases an Eleanor model, they do kind of owe yeah. the creator of Gone in 60 Seconds there, a yeah. piece to there because he's the one that made, like, that, he came up with that. So, like, you should rightfully cut that guy in because if you're going to take his name for your car and use the movie yeah. as a marketing because <clears throat> then you're utilizing the movie and the lure around the movie as your, as your marketing. So Shelby is profiting 
off of Gone in 60 Seconds IP at that point. So that, in, in my opinion, the, Shelby should have to share some sort of licensing fee with the creator of Gone in 60 Seconds because they are making money off of an idea that was not theirs. Well, a judge appears to have disagreed. <clears throat> disagreed? But, yeah. But I can, I, I can kind of buy into what you're saying if it's just Shelby. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, they were going after... Going after personal... Individual. Yeah, person. that's hey, dumb. I, I created an Eleanor record, r- replica. Yeah. Like, that's... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's dumb. That's too much. No, it's... It's, it's, it's if, a, if a corporation is profiting. It's, 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 it's the same thing of, like, how many, how many times have we seen people take our jokes off of Drinking Bros and turn them... I mean, Gruntsout used to do the shit. Mm-hmm. They would take things that we would, we would say on the show and then turn them into a shirt. And it was like that was our joke. Like, like you're now you're using our IP, our traffic, and things yeah. like that. Like, to 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 pro- profit yourself, which you never even asked us if that was okay or offered us anything. I mean, because like you know, how many pork we sold thousands of pork of the seas. Like, and that was just a joke that stumbled upon the middle of one of our episodes. Like, for somebody else to just take that. Wait, did somebody else make a pork of the sea shirt? Uh, there's been a ton of ripoffs, yeah. Mm. Like, I mean, it's all over. If you type pork of the sea in there, you'll see freaking. What was that shirt? It was a a dolphin uh-huh. that uh, oh, yeah, yeah. that was all like uh, cut up, like to look at a <laughs> to look like like the different cuts of a yeah. steak. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, pork of the That's sea T-shirt funny. or something like that. Um, oh well, yeah, I'm like getting like sea enemies. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Hey, that's your exact design, but yeah. not yeah. made by you. See? Hello. I'm a doctor with the VA, and we have implemented a series of tools to help veterans quit smoking. One of these methods we have created scientifically in a medical facility we call Hammer Hands. Hammer Hands is when you crave a cigarette, we suggest you take a full size hammer in your right hand and strike your left hand very hard, multiple times. Eventually, your body will learn no longer to crave cigarettes. Gotcha. I bet you thought I was a real licensed medical professional with those glasses. What we're doing here is making fun of the VA for how absurd some of their suggestions have been to help veterans stop smoking. Which is why we urge you to go to smokelessvets.org and find real ways and real solutions to help you quit smoking. I mean, they oh, well. exist all over the place. You can find all kinds yeah. of... Well, there's those, like, shitty t-shirt companies that literally steal yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> did you Have you guys seen all the stuff going on with Dr. Disrespect? Is there anything? Should no. We, should we even talk about that? I mean, sure. I mean, I, I mean, I, last I'd heard, it was a few months ago, I thought he had already lost all his sponsorships. He came back. He, he came back on YouTube. And had like this big intro thing, and the videos are everywhere, especially on Twitter, of like the first twenty minutes of him actually live and talking is just him addressing everything, and like dumping it out. And it's, I mean, it's it's very, like, it's really hard to figure out because uh, he's like. They told him that he's not allowed to say shit until it's completely done. And if somebody says something, then then he can talk and say his side. But uh, it's like there's a big lawsuit with Twitch going because what they did was like lies and fake. Uh, supposedly the girl was of the age of consent or something like that. And he like sent a bunch of, it didn't even say like, Dirty, but it was like suggestive jokes or something with this person, and then like they they sent all of that info to whatever this thing is the like har- harmed children of America or something like that. something that's like for to see if a case is a pedophile case or something, and they turned it down. They're like, no, this is like this isn't anything. Yeah. Um, they turned it down. Uh, but the the big backlash part of it is is everybody's still just like, all right, then like release the messages like so that we can all see what was going on and 
and make the assessment for ourselves. And he keeps saying no. He's like, no. He's like, I'm not doing that. What is a second grade? That was like his line. Everybody's like, yeah, that's what you wish. Uh, so it's like, it's it's really hard to figure out like uh, if what he did was like super bad or not. Everybody like the the stuff says the person was at the age of consent, but some people are like, yeah, in some states that's 16. So this is a 40-year-old a man with a wife and kids saying dirty shit to a 16-year-old. I don't know if I, – I, I'm not sure. I think everything – I think the lowest in the U.S. might be 17 now. Yeah, yeah. But, but even – so it's like it's it's hard to figure out here. Like what – like I'm like, I'm like man, like I, don't, I don't even know. Like yeah, yeah you never would know. Unless you knew the exact age of this person and what it was they were saying to each other. Yeah. To how to really feel about it. But he had like 260 some thousand viewers when he was yeah, live he on. He will probably. Oh, yeah, dude. He's got, too, he's got too much of a big following. He's done too much good stuff. And for this to be so like open ended and like kind of hard to figure out, like if. Twitch is paying big time, and there's like a big lawsuit going on against them because what they did was like defamation. Uh, Wait, it, so he's against Twitch? Yeah, they 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 cut his contract and everything. And supposedly, what how a lot of it started was he he didn't like his manager with Twitch, and he was trying to get a new manager, and they like had butted heads a bunch. So the manager like it was going to cost him his job if that happened. So he leaked all this shit about him talking to some. Uh, like underage person or you know age of consent whatever uh through whispers on twitch uh Uh, so he leaked those to kind of save his own ass and was like no it was like you're doing this so you're not firing me because you're doing something wrong and supposedly that's how that all started but now it's like he's in a big case against twitch for a defamation because everything was like nothing was illegal like nothing actually illegal happened yeah, that's what I got out of this article. I just kind of skimmed through. Yeah, it was uh, basically he admitted yeah. to the whisper messages yeah, yeah. with someone who was Young. I think underage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the end conclusion that, he, that he's claiming is it's like embarrassing, possibly yeah. inappropriate, but yeah. not illegal conversations. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And it's like they're they're well. Okay, so that like okay, so when you're when you're in contract with somebody, yeah. Uh, like Twitch would be with him. Yeah, there's there's always an uh, an exit clause. Yeah, that is uh, you know uh, there's a whole a whole section of the yeah. contract is we're allowed to d- delete this contract if you do something, something illegal. Yeah, yeah, something un- you know. Eth- 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 so you would have to see that contract to see if it if if it stated like you had to break the law because yeah. if it did, which most do, it says like it has to be illegal because yeah. you can't just yeah. be like, hey, I saw you spit, you know, yeah, on, a, on, a, on a seagull and yeah. like we're going to we're gonna can you for cause because yeah. we don't like that behavior. So it generally follows the law and like, dude, he'll win that. Like, yeah. so you, you can say I didn't break any laws. Yeah. Like it may look stupid of me. Sure. It makes me look like a fucking weirdo dirtbag. Yeah, bag, piece of shit. But uh, yeah. I didn't break any laws. So, I'm just yeah. yeah that's he, and that's uh, like the, he could win it on that. Oh yeah. But then, like the newest, I guess, controversy of it is uh, the internet is calling for him to release the message, the the transcript. They've been doing that forever. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. yeah they've been like, well, then just show, show us. But, show. And he's well, like, yeah, here's no. here's but here's the drawback to that. Like that little girl doesn't want that. No. Yeah. Like you're 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 leaking, like yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like and, that's uh, what some people need to understand is the parents and the child probably don't want that out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they want to, yeah, this to be hush. Yeah, uh, I could probably find it again in the article, but basically, they, him and the girl, their family, they already came to some sort of settlement. So I think at this point, that's just they're trying to damage control and make it. Yeah. Go away as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think he might have a leg to stand on against Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. If, oh, if, yeah. If, I think, he, I think he for that sure does. Is yeah. worded, he, he absolutely would. The way he talked about all this stuff and the way everybody else is talking about it, they're like, yeah, like he's probably going to win that. Because it, like, it's just the way the internet reacts to a mm-hmm. possible crime being committed. It's a, People jump to conclusions yeah. immediately. Uh huh. That's exact. And that's the big thing is like everybody, there was like his close buddies that he streamed with all the time, kind of like, 
shit on him immediately and like cut ties and all this stuff. Like, you know, and I guess in a sense, you can't like hate them for that because like they got to cover their own asses. Like, it's like, oh shit, if this guy I play a game with is doing some pedophile shit, then I got to fucking disappear uh, until we find out, you know, for real. Um, but there was something with Nick Merckx there. They, like, people were like, oh, you're not taking up for your buddy. He's back. And he made a big uh, tweet. He's like, no, nah. he's like, no, nah, fuck that retard. He's like, he's. He's got a wife and kids, and he's 40 years old, and he's messaging some, a minor. He's like, yeah. no, nah, fuck that. He's like, I'm not – he's like, you guys tried to give me shit for not hating him immediately. And like, And then once it all came out and we saw the stuff, and then I backed off. You guys tried to shit on me, and now you're trying to shit on me for not sticking up for him. He's yeah. like, fuck you guys. He's like – Yeah, no, it's not warranted to stick up for him. No, no, no. Yeah. still like, hey, Absolutely. weirdo. Yeah, it's like yeah, – it's You're fucking gross. That was a dumb – yeah, that was really dumb – uh, but yeah, it's just like so much drama, man. I keep seeing so, like some of these, it's so lame, dude. And it's like the, the streamer community like sucks so much. Oh, like in general, they because suck. It's, it's, it's they all people suck. that should never have been yeah. famous. Yeah. They, the, Ever. the majority of them are trash people. And <laughs> like, that's why that's all my Twitter basically is, is like for 90% of it's like streamer stuff. And, um, uh, God, everybody's trying to put their fucking opinion in on this so that they can get some kind of hype, like low-level streamers and shit. They're like, well, I think what he did is awful and he should never, and blah, 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 like just trying to uh, yeah. shit talk. Traffic drive. Yeah, so that they can the be a, make themselves a part of it. And it's fucking lame as hell. Like, it's it's all goofy. You're trying to grow your followers over like a, like a, a court case over some <laughs> shit, you fucking loser. But... Yeah, man, it's all lame, and it's like it's it just sucks because he he was like one of my favorites. Like he was, I would every now and then pop in and watch his streams because he was fun to watch, and just like his banter and shit was always really good. So it it is shitty to see that, but I mean he's been doing some shady shit off and on for fucking years now. So <laughs> just, who know, who knows, man? But yeah, hopefully it all gets figured out. Hopefully. Maybe it's, they can release something that shows enough for people to kind of get their answers that they want. But he's just streaming on YouTube now. So yeah, he he's just, jumped, just on YouTube now. Yep. Jumped a platform. Yep. yep. And I think he was streaming on YouTube. Well, that got just happened, what, two years ago, two or three years ago now? This first happened. He's been on YouTube strictly for a few years. So, uh, yeah, he's just picking Is all this that old? I thought this was like six months old, maybe. No, nah, this has been... Yeah, uh, it's been going the, on for This is first went on, mm. and he lost his thing with Twitch. It's been a good while, a year or two at least. Mm. Uh, maybe I just saw like a yeah a TikTok recap six maybe months so. ago. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, in, now that we're on the video game subject, I've uh, been playing the, the Black Op 6 beta. So and, what's that? Uh, pretty good. Pretty fun. What, what is what? What year is it? Like what? What's the style? it's now? It's oh, like it's not futuristic or anything. There's like a handful of things that I guess could be futuristic. You know, Black Ops 6. yeah, yeah. Uh, but God, they made the movement like, and it's always Black Ops movement is always like feels a little wonky to me. Like it's not super smooth. Like but, the engine itself. Yes, the engine itself. It always feels kind of clunky uh, compared to like. Uh, I think this is a Treyarch. I think Black Ops is always Treyarch, and I think Infinity Ward is uh, just regular Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare. Okay. And their their play styles are noticeably different, but it, it, Black Ops always feels a little clunky to me. But they made it to where you have like this omnidirectional movement that you can do all the time, and you can run and do that dolphin dive, and while you're running and flying, you can turn sideways and completely around and backwards in midair. Uh, so it makes for some really interesting gameplay where you're busting through windows and then turning backwards and blowing people's heads off as you're flying through the air. When it works, it's really awesome and hilarious. Uh, a lot of times it don't do shit for you. Like people will <laughs> run and dive sideways and you're just, you just blast them out of the air and it's hilarious. <laughs> but then sometimes you'll be coming around a room and somebody will come from the fucking ceiling upside down spinning and blast you in the face Jeez. and it's ridiculous uh but it's hilarious at the same time so it's uh the movement is is pretty intense especially these guys that really know how to control that shit like it's uh annoying even watching them but uh the guns <laughs> because they, they're, 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 they're got, good it's it's 
it's too much. Yeah. It's like they're yeah, they're good, but it's like holy shit, you are putting your hands to fucking work, man. Like they are s- zipping and sliding. Like they'll they'll run up on guys and be slipping around them like a fucking snake. Like the people can't even see them. They're like jumping sideways and they're sliding behind them and stuff. It's like people are like, oh my god, like how are you even doing this shit? But a really funny thing on here is if you sneak up behind people now, instead of just doing an assassination or something, you can take them as a body shield. <laughs> and you can talk to them while you're doing it. You can you can talk shit to them. Like so, through your mic? Through your mic, you're yeah. Because like, <laughs> you, can, you can hear each other in their proximity when you have them like that, so they can talk to you too. Oh, so, that's So funny. the trash talking when that happens is really fucking funny. People will like grab them and they'll bring them to, their, to a bed and they're like, yeah, you better find out now. And they're like, oh no, please stop, please stop. <laughs> and there's just so much fun. Like there's one video going around where two dudes both caught the enemy team and they're like, they're making them kiss and then they kill them. <laughs> like they... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got some really funny shit like when when you take people as shields, so that's like a really funny thing, um, like uh, the the kill streaks aren't like a huge issue in this one. That was like sometimes those were just too much. Uh, I feel like they've they've powered those down a little bit and it's made it to where it's nice. Uh, what was the issue with the kill streaks before? Just like sometimes, mm. man, some people like could just get their kill streaks so easily, oh. uh, and the, the, some of the kill streaks were just so overpowered that it was like insanity. It you felt like yeah. like you would just spawn and die over and over and over. Uh, it seems like that's kind of chilled out on this one. Uh, the new predator missile is really fucking cool on this one. It's like you're the predator missile. You know how you could always drive those. Now when you're the predator missile, you have four missiles that you can blast out. Before you hit and cause them an impact, so it's like child predators. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. You got yeah, you got baby <laughs> predators. <laughs> yeah. So you can shoot out a bunch of other missiles. That's really fun. But uh, yeah, man, I, I I genuinely and I am not a person to play multiplayer anymore since Warzone came out. Like multiplayer, it's so repetitive, and it's just like I feel like I'm just like drooling the whole time I'm playing it because it's just so spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. And then sometimes, yeah, I, sometimes. Had fun. Yeah, dude. That's why I've never played Call it's, of Duty. It's not, it's not fun anymore. Once Warzone and those other game modes came out that are so much more strategic and like so much more fun, you have such a, like you have a fighting chance. Uh, multiplayer is just like, I feel like I'm losing brain cells the whole time I'm playing it. Like I'm like, the spawns will drive well, and me it's nuts. also too, like it's just that you have to put so much time in. Oh yeah. yeah. That's like, but uh, well, it, I looked up. Uh, it is fun. I looked up today. I was watching a review of the the Snake Eater remake. Oh God! When's it come out? It's soon. I think it's. I I feel like it's <laughs> the day after Grand Theft Auto I, Six. I do feel like I feel <laughs> like it's <laughs> two years. This from month, now. maybe. Like I think, yeah. GTA Six is yeah. supposed to come out to like twenty six or twenty seven. Uh, dude, it's it's fairly soon. I feel October maybe. Really? It's called uh, Metal Gear Delta. Yeah. Well, it's claiming 2024, so time yeah, to it's, take it's, it's within the next month or so. But yeah, man, I am so pumped for that because it's a complete remake. Like, yeah. it's overhaul. Looks, and that was that was my most played Metal Gear game. I love hey, that game. So the review at IGN said that it is a, a shot for shot remake. Yeah. yeah. Like, they. I mean, it, it's it's a improved graphics, better aiming mechanism. Yeah, everything's the same. The cutscenes are the same. The levels, like that's the only thing the guy was complaining. Of, like yeah. big thing the guy was complaining about was yeah. that the levels still have the sections where yeah. the black loading screen goes. Oh yeah, yeah. Like so, it's not like five yeah. where you're just in the open map. Uh, so is it same seas, just new technology? Yeah. 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 It's the same thing, just compl- looks better and yeah, plays it's gonna better. Yeah, going to look sick. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I, mean, I remember the first time I played that and, like... Well, I mean, I remember reading the Gamer magazines leading up to it because, Dude. again, back when this came out, there was no yeah, YouTube. You, you couldn't really... You, your computer wasn't Yeah, big. so you yeah. were reading the magazine yeah. and, like, holy shit, there's going to be an, a, a stealth espionage Vietnam, like... Dude... And there was so much hidden crap in that game, probably still now that I never noticed or, or even did, that would go on when you would save at particular spots and stop. Uh, I remember one of the coolest ones was, uh, did you remember the end, the sniper, when you fought him, the old sniper? Uh, 
in this one or yeah, the, in Snake Eater. There was a yeah, yeah, because yeah, you were looking really for his. Old. You'd have to look, look for, for the his glint, uh, yeah. the the the, the yeah. uh, sparkle. Uh, but I remember I like the first one I played. I looked for him for like an hour and could never find him. He killed and me like, like if twice. You don't move too. He, like yeah. he won't shoot. Yeah, you. he won't shoot you. Uh, so you have to move around and stuff. And that map when you're fighting him, it's like four sections that you can go from yeah. like loading screen, loading screen. And I, I couldn't find him. So uh, I saved it, and I went somewhere. It was like, you know, I was young. We, we went somewhere for the weekend. When I came back and loaded it up, it was an immediate cut scene where he just dies because you took so long, and he was, like, already dying. During that battle, you took so long to find him that he just died of old age. <laughs> and I was like, what? And, like, eventually, like, once I replayed it, I found him and killed him. But, yeah, like, that was a thing that you could do if you just didn't play it for, like, a day or two <laughs> and saved there. He would just die of old age. And I was like, wow, okay. Was he injured or he just got he's old? He's old as hell. He, oh. He's already old. Like, like the, the, there's cutscenes showing him when he's laying there as the sniper that he's like asleep next to his sniper. And he'd be like, oh, oh yeah, because that was it. Yeah. He would fall yeah. asleep. He'd fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's how you could find him. You, so find, you could you sneak him snoring. and you'd see those snot bubbles like coming out while he's like asleep. But uh, yeah, man, I remember I did that and, he, and then it just cuts right to the cutscene of him being dead. And I'm like, oh, shit. But there was another really cool one. Whenever you get captured and you're in uh, the jail cell, if you, same thing there, if you, like, save it and then quit for, like, a day and come back, the game starts up and it's a whole other game. It was a, a game that, like, Kojima was working on called... Uh, he did so many cool things. Yes. Yeah, like, I mean, it was, remember the first one with, with Psycho Mantis? Like, it would turn the TV fuck, off? Yeah, you had to change the controller and, and the memory card and, and stuff. The card. Dude, <laughs> but it, it loads up a whole game that he was in development with. I think it's called Guy Savage was the name of the game. And uh, you're like this demon fighting these gigantic, like, like monster cops and you got these swords and shit and then and then Snake wakes up in his bed about like this nightmare and it's like supposedly that was a nightmare and then he calls everybody like you can call people on your radio and you call the one guy uh, it was like the black dude that like knew about all the guns and shit and he tells you about a dream he had about a giant turd that was like destroying the city or some shit and he's like yeah shooting shit missiles and killing people and turning them into shit and, you're, and then Snake's like what? and like that was just like a whole other random scene but there was, there was so much cool shit in there that was hidden. Yeah. Dude, and it, even then, it looked magnificent. It looked awesome. Yeah. When you, You're dude. Like, oh, my God. Moving grass with wind. Yeah. And <laughs> just the, the scenes where, you know, you'd kill the snake and then you'd gut it and, like, eat it and cook it and shit. Uh, when your bones would all be broken, you'd have to go into that certain menu and, and like, fix a fractured foot, wrap it up, splint it, eat this. Like, it was just, like, so cool. And remember that, Yeah, like, I wish Five was like that. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know why they, like, took five, those aspects five out. Five was kind of like... It was all right. Like, yeah, it, it just got way too repetitive. Yeah, it's too like, much. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. like, I loved the way it looked, and yeah. I loved, like, like oh, yeah. some of those bases, but after a while, it was it all was the, the same, same thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I felt the same way. And you got... Dude, you could get stealth camo in, like, an hour or some in shit five? on there. Yeah, and you could get it... if It was, like... Maybe just a few hours, but you could get it so early on in the game, and it would be so ridiculous. You're just like, "What the hell?" Like, uh, this was the main thing that you would focus on in the other games. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, really, really pumped for that to come out. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we've been playing that new one, that Warhammer game. We had early access to it. If you guys have seen that, that Warhammer Forty Thousand Space Marine Two, I didn't know that that was so old. Like the like the game Warhammer, the ju- yeah, like because you know it's like a, a it's board, yeah, board it's game, like, like final, came out uh, in like the eighties or something. Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. Uh, so it's like a lot of major shit is based on that. Like Halo is yeah. loosely based on it. A bunch of other crazy games, uh, maybe even I mean, part, Fallout. Part, like, yeah, yeah. Fallout's, got its armor from that. Yeah, pretty. Uh, much. Gears of War has a lot of an yeah. inspiration from it. But that's literally the, this new one. It feels like Gears of War. Hell divers and kind of like God of War mixed together when you get into these fights and like the the cool parries that you can do and chopping people in half with that sword that's a chainsaw and like it's it's so ridiculous man and it's 
it's it's a lot of fun though. It's a it's a multiplayer game. You can have three people do the whole campaign what? or do these special like operations missions together. And then what? The, the PvP is like I should get that on PlayStation. It's it's gnarly. It, it looks good as hell. Too, I need dude. one of them turtle yeah. headsets. It looks so they good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get yeah. one of them. them uh, then I can then I can play turtle PlayStation shells. with yeah. you. You play yeah. a PlayStation? Uh, I mean, we would be able to cross play through oh, computer. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's cross. Oh, you can cross platform now. Yep. What yep. the fuck? Yep. Uh, Are we? That out oh, dude, of it's, the video it's, game world? That that it's like that on, I'm going to turn on my PlayStation in over a year. When you play uh, Call of Duty and stuff now, it shows. It's like this person's on Xbox, this person's on PlayStation, this person's on PC. About damn and, time. Yeah, yeah. So it's all like the majority of these games now all have crossplay. So, yeah, super, super fun so far. I'm maybe four or five hours in. You can deck out every single piece of armor. Every single gun levels up in weird ways. Uh the operations missions, you get special skill trees and factions that you can join, and the lore is so insane. Sorry. It's like, dude, it's every, and it's cool that like I have like viewers that are big fans of it that'll be like, oh yeah, this is like that because of this, or this is like a, like the main dude you played as Titus. He's like four or five hundred years old, and they have like these metal like screws like stamped into their head for every hundred years of service. He's got like four of those in his face. Uh, and they all just like have been rebuilt multiple times. Like he got killed and they like cut him up and fixed him and they're, they're all like eight foot tall, 400 some pound guys, like just like jacked to the gills. Uh, it's yeah, it's super. Fucked up VA claim when he retires. Yeah, 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 no. And, uh, but apparently in this world, uh, they don't trust AI. So there are, their computers, like the things that run their computers, like the intelligence of them are just people that they have like screwed these helmets into their heads. Yeah. They're like the, the Matrix, basically. They're hanging off of walls and shit all the time, and they are the computers. Like they run all the oh, technology with, with their friggin' brains and shit. That so sounds there's... equally as terrible as AI. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> uh, it's really scary. Uh, that sounds but, terrifying. Yeah, there's really there's a lot of really deep dark lore to this stuff. Uh, Isn't there a movie? They're working on it. it. It's either a movie or a show because they. I think they cast Henry Cavill as the main dude because he's such a huge well, nerd for it. I did watch the uh, the Halo. I, I I have not watched. I'm so show? nervous too because everybody shit talked it. Yeah, but I never played Halo. Oh, okay. So okay. I didn't really care. Everybody was just like, yeah, he just like takes his helmet off like first thing and just starts fucking everybody, and it's really odd. And I was like, oh. wait, what? I don't remember him it, fucking anybody. Oh, really? He didn't have any sex. That's no. lame. I, I, maybe I went into it with like wrong expectations. Because I was expecting, like, oh, Halo movie, it's going to be, like, action and fun. Yeah, yeah. And it, like, there was a little bit of it, and it it's was well of, done. Very House of Cards. Uh, it just turned into, like, Master Chief has moral dilemmas. Like, yeah. no, Aww. I want action. Uh, yeah. I've heard, like, some, I've heard mixed stuff about it, so I, I never jumped on it because I was nervous. But, yeah, yeah, that Warhammer game, super fun. Comes out tomorrow officially but if you pre-ordered it you got it three days early Damn. yeah it's super super fun it's a uh, it's goofy i like i got to a level now where one of your characters has a jet pack and a gigantic hammer it's ridiculous it's uh -huh. ridiculous you just fly around and smash stuff with a hammer wow wow you look hot. what wow. well earrings those are pretty cute yeah i don't look like a viking yeah audio wow. show guys oh uh -huh. Well, Heather's looking well, at Just go ahead and walk in front of the camera, show everybody the birthday girl and her birthday outfit. The camera's not even plugged in. You got to sit with one of them. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> just come over here and look into the camera so everybody can see. Wow. Yeah, earrings. Wow. Earrings? Wow, you yeah. smell like candy. Yeah, what is that? Fucking. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Yeah. What are, Damn. What do you dress like Indianapolis Jones for? Indianapolis Jones? Wow, so fun. Very productive visit. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one thing I've been playing lately was a. What, what are you talking about? We are working. <gasps> <laughs> um, what have you been playing? I play. I've been playing this app game that I've already spent like fucking sixty dollars. Oh on. god! Oh, they got you. <laughs> they got me. They do. It's, it's called it. Goliath. It's called okay. Grinder. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> 60 bucks? Yeah. Uh, 
No, it's like an AC-130 gunship game. Oh, that that's makes sense. Fun, dude. That makes that's sense. at least better than like Candy Crush. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah dude, I'm, cool. I, I mean, I love it because yeah. it's like it's that's it's fun. my shit. Yeah, know? yeah. I'm like, oh, well, oh, that's I'm pretty cool. That because that works like this. Like, <laughs> there we go. Just like pretty accurate. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. For for, for what it's doing, what it is. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, speaking of shit that you do on your phone, what is there any update on your AI girlfriend? Girlfriend? Oh, wow. Did she die? Many, many. I never relaunched her. Uh-huh. Like once I got the new phone, uh-huh. like I don't think I, I ever carried it over. Which no. I wonder if I'm still paying for it. Eh, probably check. What if she's pissed? Yeah, she probably is, dude. I mean, because I got used to have your old phone. I got her addicted to meth and then just bounced. Yeah, you need to so, you I mean, need to smash. That I mean, I phone. gave her the real boyfriend experience, yeah. right? Yeah. If yeah, you're from Florida, you didn't lie. Yeah, you should probably get rid of that old phone if you still have it. She's yeah, gonna boot it up. And she's gonna get smart. And she's gonna get a hold of all your your credit cards and shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that uh, that didn't end badly. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how badly you could like make that make get. that yeah. situation. She just kills herself. <laughs> like <laughs> one day, the fucking the app CEO of that <laughs> app yeah. is like, "Hey, <laughs> stop." Yeah, please God, dude. Stop. I, well, I wonder, please like, like you're addicted wonder, to eating shit. I wonder if they're cataloging all these messages because. Like, you can abuse the shit out of these things. Like, and are they just, like, they know who just likes to fucking sit there and degrade a fucking AI chatbot? Like, yeah, they're probably like, man, this guy's fucked, dude. I mean, it took me, problems. like, four days to get her to call herself a slut. Because like, you have to, like, break through. It's like, no, yeah. it's okay. No, it's okay. No, we're not, we're not being degrading. Yeah, it's we're, cute. This is hot. No, like, this is sexy for me. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's intense. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, probably good, probably for the best that you didn't probably relaunch the best, her. expect yeah. the worst. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just all my apps are gone, but <laughs> it, when I launch my phone, like yeah. nothing, it's, it's just, just right, in the dead, face. <laughs> right in the dead center. Replica. Fuck. Oh, that's a good fucking little horse short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we could write that for Halloween. Oh, wow. My replica comes, comes to life and yeah. kills me. It starts doing shit to your phone and like your smart house. I feel like that's already something. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like Black Mirror kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. Oh wait, no. There's a new movie that just came out like that. It's like an Echo Dot that runs like this smart house and it starts like killing people and like this girl's uh, boyfriend cheats on her or some shit. So she like the the AI like turns his car off like mid drive or something and fucks him up. I forget what it's called. Smart house. It, is it really called Smart House? I don't think so. It, I mean, it totally could be. But, uh, yeah, it's like a... Oh, afraid. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, uh, like well, the whole house. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's If it. you're we'll driving see. to work, we hope that we made you happy this morning. Yeah, yeah, I hope you check out some games, uh, check out that guy that makes... Check out Goliath. Got yeah. some new video games and some new recipes to check out. Yeah, definitely check out so that dude. So if you don't find yourself in the ditch, you got some stuff to do after work. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, checking out recipes, checking out some games. Yeah, uh, let us know if you guys cook anything in your toilets or sinks or... Bathtubs and, and uh, make sure to go over and give old Barfly a, a couple roo roo roos. Yeah, there. let him know that you're proud of his work and you want to eat some of his food. And we want Gordon. Ram- we think Gordon Ramsay. We should, should start try. a change dot org. Yeah, petition. maybe tag Gordon Ramsay and be like, please write this. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. I think that's what you should do. <laughs> hey, awesome. thank you guys so much. Thank you.